Hello friends, welcome back. I've got a short update to give you and um, it's all about Turkey, friends. <laughs> Again, all eyes are on Turkey. Yes, there's trouble brewing in the eastern Mediterranean. And um, let's have a look at the latest developments regarding Turkey and Greece. Turkey and its regional Turkic peoples. And find out what is actually happening you know there is a lot happening let's see if i can share with you some of what i found that is prophetically significant so recently reported from this article greek publication the greek reporter.com battle for the sale of f-16 jets to turkey heating up in u.s congress if Biden's decided to go ahead with this deal by selling these weapons, sophisticated weaponry to Turkey, then it's just going to go ahead and happen, isn't it? Battle lines are being drawn in the US Congress for the proposed sale of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey as Greek-American lawmakers are mobilising to ensure that Biden admin does not proceed with the sale and the upgrade of Turkey's existing fleet. It looks like Turkey is favoured over Greece, which would mean that Greece would be seeking support when this collision happens between Turkey and Greece, which is definitely on the horizon. We've been watching this development over the past year or so as things have been escalating. But it looks like Turkey is being armed, is being positioned and like I said has been holding NATO hostage for a while while it is invading Syria. There's a lot of problems with Turkey. I believe Turkey and Russia will also struggle and wrestle for power for leadership in the region and of course i believe turkey will come out stronger turkey and iran i believe iran will concede to turkey eventually because we know persia is one of the main coalition nations regions that align itself with the gog magog invasion turkey is involved in libya in sudan africa so it's all about turkey and keeping an eye on what this nation does. On Tuesday, a bipartisan group of US legislators <clears throat> filed amendments to the National Defense Authorization Act that would prevent the sale if Turkey continues its territorial overflights and airspace violations in the Aegean. The amendment was submitted to Congress at the initiative of Greek American Member of Parliament, Chris Pappas. Greece is very worried. Remember, Greece also warned the US against arming Turkey. And I believe their bid to reason with the US and the West against supporting and more or less strategically empowering Turkey's position in the region because Greece is under direct threat. Turkey is increasingly growing aggressive. It is intimidating, occupying, bombing, threatening Cyprus, Syria, Iraq, Armenia through Azerbaijan and presently now this conflict with Greece seems to be on the horizon. But at the same time, the US is agreeing to sell these F-16s while Turkey is building its own F-35s, fighter jets. So, it's only a matter of time, isn't it, friends? Very worrying developments. <clears throat> you can see the news links for yourself for further information. The reason why I share this with you is because it's showing us that this time of the beast is a lot closer than we anticipated. Things are moving quickly and um, we've got to just keep an eye on what's happening. You know, the, the lunacy of providing advanced weaponry to Turkey is just it's reckless, friends. Given the likelihood that it will, Turkey will eventually further intimidate, harass Greece, Cyprus, 
and yet we are backing supporting Turkey in NATO that is against Russia it seems that the West is arming Turkey as a defense against Russia should there be a Russian Turkish conflict or tension which is likely to happen also I've said that before the West should have been arming Greece and Cyprus with these advanced weapons but no they've chosen to do so with Turkey interesting articles that I found because remember not long ago Boris Johnson the Prime Minister of the UK believes that a remote Roman Empire alliance kind of a revival a bit <laughs> a bit when that news broke out a lot of prophecy world were up in arms over it see we told you Boris Johnson believes that a revival of such a Roman Empire type of alliance would strengthen European unity but that unity would include Turkey and North African countries the French president Macron proposed also the G7 summit recently a political community that would be broader than the current EU nations which is what 27 nations in that um, unity but this would primarily bring in Ukraine and other Eastern European nations who knows is this what they're really instigating friends this little club this little family because if they would be considering forming a new alliance amongst these former <clears throat> Roman Empire nations including North Africa this little family would work together to cooperate on security energy transport la de la and even movement of people kind of like a passport for travel it's high time for Turkey's ascension into the EU you know just before I read this article the thought occurred to me like well why not you know everyone's kind of warming up to turkey in a sense that they've been willing to be held hostage in nato i'm talking about regarding finland and sweden joining that membership in nato and gave in and turkey ended up getting what it wanted so let's read a bit of this article and see what this guy suggests once again in the european union thanks to the conflict between ukraine and russia the discussion about admitting new members is coming to the boil and once again turkey promised membership of the union over 30 years ago is not on the list in fact it is even worse than that turkey is still being actively blackballed and at a get together european christian democrats not that long ago a prominent member wilfred martins the former prime minister of belgium was quoted as saying the European Union is in the process of building a civilization which Turkey has no place. Successive French presidents have uttered similar thoughts. Of the major countries, only Britain has continuously been sympathetic to Turkish entry. Well, because he's related, right, Boris Johnson. One can surmise, since Prime Minister Boris Johnson's grandfather was a Turkish journalist, that Britain still leans that way, even if it has lessened its enthusiasm, as President Erdogan has arrested many journalists, opposition leaders and Kurds in recent years. For decades, the US supported Turkish entry. These days, it avoids being drawn on the subject, although it is assumed it still supports ascension. The hand of European chauvinism is again being dealt to Turkey, home to Istanbul, the city that strides two continents, the only city to have served as a capital of three empires, the historic meeting place of East and West, the cradle of Christian Byzantium as well as Ottoman Islam. Very strategic location, right? <clears throat> See, this revival of the Roman Empire, the theory that that is most prominent, most popular in Bible prophecy land overlooks the Turkish element because that empire was east and west Byzantine in the east which was taken over by the Ottoman Turks it's completely overlooked but now when this language is coming up now and in articles Boris Johnson talking about revival of the Roman Empire that would include Turkey because it's considered a European nation I wonder if people are actually re-reviewing their position now and considering the position that Turkey is in today. 
Turkey, I'm going to scroll along. Let's read from that paragraph there. It is its state of economic development, its human rights record, or is or its religion. It is a bit of all three, but none are totally convincing if looked at even with a modicum of good sense. So this is an article advocating for membership for Turkey in the EU. It's high time, basically. There's so much more to share. I, I doubt if I'm going to go through much more of this article. <clears throat> let me um, let me attach this in the description box for your further reading yeah i think it is very interesting that it's even being discussed in this manner but there's more to share israel to reopen its economic office in turkey as ties improve <laughs> honestly years ago I was talking about Turkey, warning about the rise of Turkey, reviving its Ottoman dreams, causing problems in the region and coming out a lot stronger than what people anticipated. And now we're actually seeing this stuff happen. Goodness gracious. Despite Timolta's diplomatic ties, Turkey remains one of Israel's most important commerce partners. Bilateral trade was up 30% in 2021, reaching $7.7 .7 billion. Israel said on Tuesday it will reopen its economic and trade office in Turkey as the countries work to restore diplomatic ties that have been restrained for more than a decade. Both governments, oh the adverts on here, both governments expelled ambassadors in 2018 and have often traded barbs over the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Well we know the one has said Jerusalem is a red line for Muslims, right? So we know that he has that on his mind, and I believe it's his bull's eye. He hasn't got his eye off the mark, so Israel better watch its back. They're going to form these alliances, but also remember, the natural gas in Israel is also one of the most important national, national natural resources that many in the region are eyeing. That Israel has. Here's a link to that article that I was referring you to. Roman Empire alliance would strengthen European unity, says Boris Johnson. You must have heard about it. It was over a week ago. Moving on. Meanwhile, there is an alliance forming, and I've spoken about this many times also. It was this organization and the Economic Corporation Organization, ECO. Two organisations I was suspecting might have something to do with the formation of the beast that would arise from the Islamic world. In recent developments, opening of investment fund of member countries of organisation of Turkic states planned. It, they've renamed it before it was the Turkic Union and that's what I referred to at the time when I was used to share about this organization it has five permanent member states the five permanent member states azerbaijan turkey kyrgyzstan kazakhstan and uzbekistan with hungary as a observer state opening of investment fund of member countries of the organization of turkic states is planned <clears throat> It was said during the conference of official analytical centers of member countries of the Organization of Turkic States, which is being held in Azerbaijan's liberated Shush Shusha city. We have prepared a document on the concept of cooperation between the Turkic states until 2040 for the development of integration of the member countries of the organization. Organization of Turkic States, formerly known as the Turkic Council or the Turkic Union, it was also called elsewhere, is an international organization comprising prominent independent Turkic countries. I believe, friends, these grouping of nations are the coalition nations of Gog, Magog, Mishek and Dubal. We'll find out eventually. But I believe the Word of God is showing us this region for a reason. 
So they're going to continue to work together. Can you imagine such a union of ethnically Turkic people groups forming their own alliance together? And meanwhile, while Turkey is sort of building its military, outsmarting NATO, getting what it wanted, and also threatening Greece, think about the nations that Turkey is currently meddling in. Okay, we've got Greece. We've got this sort of a struggle, a sort of like a, there's a tension between Russia and Turkey. There's also Iran, there is Syria, there's Libya, there's Africa, Sudan, for example, and Somalia. This issue is not going to go away. And I believe we are seeing the early days of the formation of the beast. Like I said many times, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens in stages. And so we are seeing the formation. However, it will look when the 10 horns finally get together, we will know. I believe it will be obvious to us at that time. Here are the five member states, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkey, Uzbekistan, with the two observer states, Hungary, Turkmenistan. So this group of nations, let me just go back to the article, are planning an investment fund. And that investment fund is $350 million, which will be formed in equal shares among those five member states. Hmm. Other news related to Turkey. <clears throat> Turkey's expanding role in Central Asia is a boon for NATO. Expanding role. Beijing and Moscow will be watching Ankara's deepening ties in Eurasia with interest. And so will I. And no doubt so will many others in prophecy land. As NATO leaders gathered in Madrid last week, Russian President Vladimir Putin embarked on a crucial diplomatic mission of his own. His first trip abroad since his country's late February invasion of Ukraine was not to either of the two regional powers, India and China, that have, with their increased gas imports, provided Moscow an economic lifeline. Mr. Putin instead sought to reassert Russian influence in Central Asia, visiting Tajikistan where its leader embraced him on the tarmac then Turkmenistan for a summit of Caspian Sea leaders, including those from Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and Iran. An atmosphere of friendship and cooperation reigns in the Caspian, Putin's foreign policy adviser asserted. Yet Russian influence in the Caucasus, in the Caucasus and Central Asia was widely seen as receding even before the conflict with Ukraine. Goodbye Russia, hello Turkey. Now, with significant Western sanctions disrupting trade routes, Russian ties across Eurasia and with regional heavy hitter China may soon be critical to its economic survival. This is not news to Turkey, which has been expanding its regional footprint for years. Oh yeah, in the backdrop. Back in 2009, Angara created the Organization of Turkic States, formerly the Turkic Council. Today, the bloc's five members and two observer states are home to some 170 million people, an aggregate GDP <clears throat> excuse me, of $1.5 trillion. Hmm. Wow. If the West, the US-led NATO, let's say, if the West has an open, because right now it's a proxy war against Russia, but if it becomes an open conflict with Russia, with the West, Turkey is going to come out stronger. And that's, I think that's easily predictable now. There's more news to share, but I want to save that for my next message. Keep your eyes peeled, friends. <clears throat> I'll be back again soon. My next message that I've already prepared is about Nehemiah. I'll see you again soon.